five seconds remaining. OG's turn to ban. Secrets turn to ban. OGs turn to ban. Secrets turn to ban. Turn to ban. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. New secrets turn to ban. No. OGs turn to pick. Team secrets turn to pick. Disruptor. Admiral Conkai. And we're back now for the next game of the MDL group stages here. Plenty of great Dota 2 action has played already between many great teams in Changsha, I think it is. MDL Changsha, I'm not sure where that is. Somewhere in China. My NA geography is on point, but what? Hopefully, as we on point is this Team Secret vs. OG Game 2, final game of the day for us here on stream number 2. Look, Man, you're almost at the finish line. Pick game of the day for you. Yeah, I'm not okay. even feeling tired, man. I, just, I drank only one energy drink, and it's, it's, I didn't even drink it full. I don't know. I didn't sleep much, but uh, good dose keep me awake. I, I could do this all day, probably. Like, just 20 games, and I would just pass out. <laughs> It's a bit good and fun. I mean, it's a bit one-sided on the stream, which is maybe, you know, have gone pretty quickly. It's only been, like, nine or ten hours so far, but... Yes. You know, that's still a long day. It's still a lot of games. And, well, we've got one final game. It's it's the Battle of the Lone Druids, it feels like. You know, game one, Secret first pick, and now G's like, all right, we're going to first pick it, and let's see if Seek have the answers to beat it. So they just, they just stole two of their picks. <laughs> <True>. <laughs> If it's working, I mean, if you steal it and it's working, it's not stupid. <laughs> yeah, I, I wouldn't even look at the lone druid stealing because that like OG yes. was first to pick it. But the clockwork is a little bit of you know, ooh, that worked for them. Let's try it ourselves. I think clockwork uh, could also be a steal pick in terms of um, getting disruptor first, and they don't want to play against that combo. Not sure how, how good Clockwork is against the Disruptor. He has no escape mechanism, but if you go in with the hookshot, he can just glimpse you back. Yep. As for the, uh, the Kunkai, this is what Secret see as the... Maybe deal with the Lone Druid. Theoretically, you could match up right against him in a 1v1 and do just fine. Uh, as far as what the spells he has, you th this is like going to work out pretty well as like a, a counter. Uh... Sure, that, sound, that sounds good. Uh, you can X the bear. Uh, we'll have to see which kind of a build uh, No-Tail decides to go for this game. Also, I love, I love Kanka as a, kind of a counter to a disruptor as well. Uh, when you play position 4 Kanka, you can just X mark someone who's been glimpsed and then just X him back. Sure, yeah, we've seen. Yeah, we've seen uh, a lot of cute ways to deal with these uh, disruptor picks that have been coming more popular. 
and also you have so so much weight to deal with uh, with their heroes since they start running so i guess they're gonna pick uh, more aggressive heroes with the x mark with the glimpse like you always have a catch we'll see the uh, st stage of picks bring us so for ogm you first pick this long and it does reveal quite a bit about what you're looking to do uh, with your draft overall Similar thing with Secret Ring and Tonka, so both teams have a, at least a decent idea of what is coming their way here in this game mode. So CK banned out. Uh, that's a gap closer against the Lone Druid, as well as Lycan. They're yeah, still... have been picking it a bit for Ace lately as well. <laughs> they could uh, get something like... Okay, Nightwalker is banned out, never mind. Uh, Something that gets out of the cogs freely and it's not influenced the by clockwork hookshot. Let me see what that is. From a support position, yes, like the sand king, I guess. The nice stalker is really good because he can just fly over, but he's banned out. Yeah. Uh, sand king is good. Uh, Tusk is also fine. Yes, there he is. So support that gets out of the cogs and can also save someone who perhaps gets hooked as well. Like you snowball in. Join the hero in the cogs and suddenly you're kind of spreading the damage with battery assault and you're helping the hero get their spells. OG now have some soul searching to do. Losing game one, they've already lost a two game series this group stage, so pretty important game for them to get whatever wins they can get at this point. It's only two days of group series. Things will be over pretty quickly if you're not careful. They will find themselves in the lower bracket or Worse yet, if they lose out the rest of their series, eliminate after a bad stage. Yeah, I'm already liking Team Secret's lineup more, and that I only saw three of their picks. I hope they can, OG can surprise me. It feels like they're still stuck in the, I'm gonna call it old meta, in the old patch, where people were running 1-1 uh, one, one and uh, Three with uh, one of those being Rome Hero instead of going for the dual lanes. So, walk, position that fly has favored quite a It's like these here that, you know, when a Tusk is like snowballing in or saving someone, that you can drop a big air spell on them. You snowball in, could be a big wall of rock tail bond awaiting your arrival. Those kind of heroes always feel very nice to play against a Tusk. Uh, I'm always afraid when you have a Warlock that you're gonna lack control. Uh, clockwork provides you some, uh, and I hope it's not gonna be an offlane Clockwork, but it's gonna be position 4. So, something with the stun, sanking uh, could work, maybe a Centaur if they wanna go for it again. I'm trying to think what the S4 heroes are, there's a Puck, if he thinks he can get away with that. Not easy against the Disruptor with the Static Storm here, but still a, a possibility. Uh, Ember is still in the pool if they want to go for it. Like Clockwork doesn't provide any any kind of control. No, neither does Warlock. Also, Lone Druid has just the Savage Roar or Entangle. I think mid only plays the cup. So it's oh yeah, that's true. <laughs> there can only get so many one heroes, and well, well, by so many I mean one typically one mid one. Yeah, but what if you change a nickname to Secret Mid One? <laughs> so you know, suddenly playing the mid one and. Abaddon, we've played it quite a lot. Gives them uh, a hero that can get to sit in the off lane and soak up a load of stuff. annoying hero to deal with. Sport Warlock does not bully an Abaddon at all. He can purge off the Shadow Ward if he needs to. It's being down. Yeah, good pickup by Team Secret. Nothing against uh, Abaddon so far. A lot of save capabilities. They have X Mark. He can send him back. They have Tusk Snowball. They have Abaddon. Kind of hard to control all these heroes with uh, what OG has at the moment. What's it going to be here for OG? Uh, start thinking about whether this clockwork's being played as a three or a four position. So we're definitely showing some good stuff on the clockwork, but I like they're going to need more damage coming out of their draft right now. The three position clock. Perhaps it's 
bring that to the table. Even Lord Druid is not a burst damage type hero, so... <laughs> Gyro is still in the pool. Ooh. That's a lot of uh, big AoE altas, but also big uh, big cooldowns. Like big cooldown. lineup, yeah, big lineup from Team Secret can fight all the time. Even if Disruptor ult is on cooldown, they still have a lot of potential to fight. But on the other side, if Clockwork ult is on cooldown, Warlock and Enigma, they can't really fight. Yeah, it's only very greedy. It's a hero that needs a lot of farm, and so does Lone Druid. So whatever. The last pick is, it kind of needs to be like that fighting carry. The gyro you mentioned is pretty kind of a draft, but yeah, definitely want another long cooldown or another hero that needs to farm too much. Nah, I was just thinking of, about the hero that can deal damage with the Fatal Bond, something real quick, and gyro fits the profile and uh, doesn't have any big, big ulti cooldowns. Yeah. He's just not enough lane against the bound too, where, you know, that happen so many of the off lane, you can attack them pretty well with the block. If that's the plan, you can also pick mid laner. You want to linger to the safe lane. So flexibility with this last pick for OG. Yeah, but I, we mentioned uh, in the previous series about uh, Enigma being self-sustainable laner, which he can always get the farm and then uh, roam around with uh, with the heroes. Warlock, really not a roamer, but uh, then you can afford to go for a Clockwork as uh, position four. What secret are thinking for base at this point? They've got just the they've got the war punch as well as the the ghost ship theoretically to cancel the black hole. Although not that the ghost ship is the problem. Gyrocopter huh. out, so worried about like a fast is tempo carry. And they picked the troll warlord, so kind of fine carries. And since you the lone troop, and they even see like a right lone troop, but you consider how he pairs up the the troll warlord. Yes. So, maybe, maybe a Faceless Void, he has a good ways to deal with the Troll Warlord, also a good way to deal with the Enigma ulti, can easily get out of the Clockwork uh, hookshot, have a good combo with Disruptor and Kanka. The hero I think would be, see would be like Harry Vent, to give you a swap yeah. against the Kanka. It also combos very well with like, your team, you're playing fast pace, so it is a hero that doesn't have long cooldowns and can punish the long cooldowns of Enigma and Rollo. Yeah, it also opens up uh, a Roche if you get a one or two man pick off. Not the best scaling hero against the troll. No, not at all. Different Ooh. direction. Uh, harder carry. The carry I think you can get away with when you're against Slotner that's playing around these big ultimates because you're going to get room and space to farm when those ultis are on cooldown. That's true, but I'm afraid for the laning stage. Like Spectre is <laughs> such a weak laner. It's, uh, it's I don't know, just imp pretty impossible to play the hero. Uh, I wonder if they want to dodge Enigma and have a Baden in that lane, or what what the plan is here. If uh, you're gonna deny a lot of farm from Spectre early on, I, I guess Team Secret doesn't want that. So last time they was recently in Thailand, they won with it and. Their solution to, you know, secure his lane was, don't secure his lane, they left him one to two, and the support just roamed in the other lanes, and Spec had a terrible early game, but eventually got space to farm and catch, got like a, a hood into Blade Mill and into Radiant, so, you know, it doesn't sound like the conventional way to play Spectre, where you want to secure her lane, get her a Radiant's time, it, it works a secret, where they just, you know, they want to roam, they want to make plays, they don't want to be a Spectre. Yeah, you remember uh, when Spectre was pretty much the only way to play her was uh, either to go for a Diffusal Blade if your early laning stage is shut down or just go for the straight Radiance if you have a good good start. And then you have a 15 minute Radiance and then build up from there. The times have changed, pretty much you can build anything for Spectre. But the problem is she does not flash farm. You can also go for a Radiance as a second, as a third, fourth item. If it's like this by I really in the game. Uh, you could be an These items that give you survivability. You're very frontline. Diversion, you have a desolate. You don't have too many items early on. You just have survivability. Yeah I, I, yeah, I feel like the ulti cooldown is way too big for what, level 1 
ulti, three minutes cooldown. This is the longest uh, cooldown in game. And it's not that great early on. Like Enigma, <laughs> Enigma has 200 seconds cooldown. Dude, you know, it makes it that Yeah. Okay, so that's not the longest one. Oh, Jarek's in problem. <laughs> well, it's good to, to, to give uh, first blood to a hero like a tusk, so he can roam around. Oh, yeah, you should get the last hit on the ward as well, yaps, or... Solo XP for the Kanka. <laughs> move, move. I love this. I love this Tusk uh, cosmetic. Feels like Asterix. Yeah, it looks really, really good. Oh, see how OP fucked out. Everything's blowing over to you, but. Oh, trees. Yeah, it's out of here. Very tough lane for the dog. He's already being slowed down. There's no bet on the bear. And he set the phone and he's getting help this game, it looks like. Yeah, I think they should have maybe even used the Shadow Word, just force him to use the mana. 115 mana against Shadow Word costs 90, and the Vorlock's mana region is way higher than uh, than a Badans. Maybe just heal himself so it doesn't get hurt. <laughs> Grabs I was not the case. That's a little have a free way back. Old school offline. Bag free way as I cannot play in my lane. what about two creep waves? You can't pull the first two creep waves. <laughs> yeah, that's see. Light base employer he was but if he gets saved, can actually not have a lot of fun here. But if he can't actually move around, then here comes the three. And potentially, both sides need this one, but that's going to hold his ground. It's traded. It's scary. That's a little bit better. He's able to win this regular battle of false fly. Oh. Thank you, gods. Stats so much better. 51 damage against 52, and both of them have two armor. Yeah, yeah. So he hits. So he hits. I know what I'm talking about here. I'm a simple man. I look at the numbers and I know what's up. It's three for ten. He probably actually attack move twice as fast. Let's do a taxi. 1.38 on Dusk, and we'll send at 1.55. Okay, twice far. <laughs> I'm a cool champion. That's professional stats. <laughs> you think it gives me game. Yeah, you just made up like stats. Uh, a friend of mine was playing uh, back in the days, or I spoke with a professional player uh, during the last tournament. Like, no one can deny it from you. Yeah, the best. That's my favorite. Uh, I spoke to some pros, they said this. <laughs> <laughs> when it well, interesting bit. Oh, uh, interesting decision. Yeah, that's uh, pretty much uh, interesting. We use when we, we we can't say garbage. Like this is an interesting build. Yeah, but it's looking pretty deep in here. It looks like Jarek's gonna be. Yeah, let's put on the kill ball. Oh, mid lane. He gets blocked. Oh, well, and he. Another turn off my face. Snowball. Snowball? And yeah, they're just avoid here. Look if they have the kill. He all defends. So it should be enough. I think that. Nice uh, kill. That's it. It's a four. Definitely, mid one didn't even miss any creep. Talking about that, you know, one v two, it's no problem. And triple moves up here, lucky in the hand. This is why this screw was picked against this left because Wall is beautiful out on Apple. Yeah, he does nothing. Period. Uh, 
I all, I'm always surprised how good Kanka does in a mid lane. Maybe I'm missing something. Uh, has a great uh, last hit potential, a lot of denies, but uh, it always surprises me. We, we talked about uh, how he dominates the range heroes like Kalina and uh, sometimes Queen of Pains as well. He doesn't any matchups. against no D. I don't think there's a matchup he's bad at. Look at him on a mid lane. Uses Torrent to damage the range creep and uh, wants to get the last hit, but <laughs> he denies a lot. Seb, really experienced. Looks like a good play to come out of him as he... Looks like a good play to come out of him as he... Looks like a good play to come out of him as he... Looks like a good play to come out of him as he... Looks like a good play to come out of him as he... Looks like a good play to come out of him as he... Still tanking as there is some rotations coming in. Let's fly as well as J-Rax trying to punish this one. And J-Rax trying to close up the item. Actually, J-Rax still being a little bit... Way oh, faster. Standard damage. <laughs> 362 against... I, I don't like these numbers that are not uh, rounded up. Like, just straight 360, that's what the new agility gives us. Keeps you on your, keeps you on your toes. Never know what speed is going to be. Yeah, from puppy back to the bottom line. And potentially a setup coming on mid. Yapsol's looking for fly, but has to be careful because here comes Jerax blocking off the high ground himself. Is Zef gonna go charging him? Wants to get this kill on mid one. Mid one's got the level six, so this will keep him alive for quite a while with the run. Mid one, very tanky here. Zef trying to chase him down. Has the fervor stacks, but can't really chase much further. The Coco run. Helping bail mid one out there. The Coco's run, one of the the best team fight uh, spells that you can get. If you use the boat correctly, you're not gonna lose a team fight. Top lane. Well, called the end of that one. No tell. Solo killing Fata there with the level six, now level seven bear. Already has the helm of the dominator. Brought in the troll, and he's gonna take a tier one tower. It looks like has the the siege creep here to back him up. Tipping back in is the Kunker. They do not want to give up this tower without a fight. That's the X here. Uh oh. That spells trouble for No-Tail, he's being preemptively healed back up. Here comes Spectre with a horn as well, Seeker, and they want to get this kill. But there's another Savage Roar. Where does Spectre go? Okay, he's gone on fly, he went in for the back lines. I don't know if he can face this one, he's got just Boots and Aquila. He needs to be careful, if he gets rooted, he could be in some trouble here. Does have Fata to back him up with the Aphotic Shield. And there we go, we'll get shielded <laughs> I mean, up. <laughs> Spectre at the early level deals no damage whatsoever. I wonder if uh, going for a straight Radiance, uh, he had a lot of his CS denied, uh, because it's Enigma obviously, but I'm, I'm asking myself if it's doable, like can you go that greedy, just go for boots and if nothing is uh, going wrong for you, other lanes are going well, just straight Radiance. Yeah, I, I don't think it's Ace's style, but I definitely think it could work. Fly caught out of top, got the tower, but Fly looks like he with his life. Ace, no, oh, can't get out of Yep, sorry, man. Help a pro out. They're gonna turn back. A big tell. He's just gonna fly his way through this one. Root up, yep, but Zep coming, and they're gonna get a couple of kills out of it. Still level 4 on the Abbott. But is very under level. He goes on double kill, no tail. Showing what he can do on this lone druid, and... Concerned to be starting to rise for Team Secret. Map. Picked up this a very greedy carry. And they're not having the best spot. Yeah, she TP top to get a kill, didn't uh, get it. And meanwhile, on the bottom lane, you have a disruptor who's been there for past minute and a half, two minutes, just collecting the XP. The crazy thing is, this Abaddon is only level four. Like he's the same level. Puppy's out leveling the off lane yeah. right now, which is not a good sign. Clockwork I mean, I Puppy's doing anything wrong. It's more that the Abaddon needs to get some toilets. Yeah, Clockwork was level 2, 8 minutes, and now he just got the level 3 with the pool. Yeah. I mean, I don't mind that much, because it's the 4 position, he, he's gonna eventually get, be given when it's at his level, but you don't want your off lane to have a bad stop, because he's the guy who's meant to maybe create some space for the team. Well, I think Abaddon recovers, uh, he's not that uh, 
level dependent early on and once he gets Helm of the Dominator he can be on the other side of the map and just join the team fights with, uh, with the TP get the siege creep uh, with Helm and uh, keep split pushing well we wondered the Spectre build. Ace is giving us some potential items. He has a Oscar Man Miscue. I first saw Envy doing this build in. It's pretty much a build which allows you to farm very fast. This is like the, the jungle farming build where you constantly yeah. sustain it. It forces you to just keep farming. You do not keep fight with this item very well. Oh! As for sticks, it's like, I missed this black hole. I'm gonna keep chilling this sucker. They do need to get the kill on top of you. With his life. It looks like he probably will want well, more tower shot. We'll finish up the kill. S4. It's gonna have to be the walk of shame. Back to base. He gets taken out. No yeah. day you <laughs> make this like that. Yeah, I'm, I'm the guy that uh, wants to use the black hole early on whenever it's needed. Uh, you just use it on one person, get a kill. It doesn't matter early on. Yeah. Like, you're not gonna Three. team fight anyway. But uh, if you miss it and still get a kill, that, that's not correct. <laughs> I also feel like the, those black holes are more when on a, a core hero. On a five position drafter, it, it doesn't seem quite as worth it. But hey, needless to say, as for top lane, is... oh, a bad and wow. missing one creep to get level six. That's it. Mid one getting a kill on five. No, full on forward. Can they get these kills? Seb's just gonna fight. They can clean up this one. Team of G. Seb is absolutely crushing it on this. Oh, Wolf gets double kill in mid. Up game the double club. Pop, pop lane, no down. Needs to be a little bit careful. As he's being actually chased down here, but he is very hard to get in here with right now. Yeah, Ace actually going for that uh, Mask of Madness build, uh, only one point in Dagger, he's gonna keep farming the jungle and the lane with the Desolate, which increases his farm. No Tail, really farmed, he's probably on top of network, let me switch, yeah, 6,000, 1.2k above everyone else. Uh, Helm of the Dometer, 1.6k gold, he's gonna go for that uh, Radiance build. I mean, Radiance makes a lot of sense uh, this game because both, actually three cores inside of Team Secret rely on the right click and the missed chance is too good. Can be a great puppy on level 6 just yet, no tip than melee from Hero Zerg's initiate stops him getting there, that hogs so well placed. No tail's gonna get back to the high ground here, he's still on, I'm still fighting with his pick. Derek's getting very, very low. This, this fight is not gonna quite finish him off. X wants the last hit, he'll get it. Gets himself on the board. And he's now 2 and 0. No tail still looking to fight around this team. Has the health dominance. A lot of health breathing compared with the the word on the wall. Keep them nice and healthy. They're yeah, just gonna go charging forward. Wants to get this kill disrupted, but. I see better of it. S4 hiding in the trees. Does not have a back hole, unfortunately, but they are hiding around in the dirt ward. Well, S4, the Midas man. I know there's a lot going on. Huge mistake by S4. You need to pop that Midas, right? Uh, Grant hates it when the Midas is on cooldown. <laughs> it's about to go. You gotta pop your Midas. T fight, although you're making a bad mistake. They're still chasing. He popped his Midas. Oh, gee, you're going with this team fight now. That Midas being used so well. As the snowball going on through, yeah, he's not gonna pay with his life. He got the disruptor on the back line as well. Two kills go over his way. Complete. Bloodbath in this mid lane. Creates a space for Bata at top, you know, get his items to get his levels and put it to you on power. I think OG gonna be pretty happy about the outcome of that one. Yeah, 4k gold lead. Uh, what, what does Kanka have? Uh, drums? Not uh, not too much farm. He is farm. Oh, probably gonna. Oh. Level 4 X marks. Can they find him? Zeb? Yeah, he. Here. There's gonna be a ocean inside this kinetic field. There's gonna be pull back in here. Robbing up to two here. Puppies well, mid one could be in some trouble if they're not careful. Full on retreat as they're chasing after mid one. Is there gonna be an entangle here? Can't face on the spectre. He's gonna go in with a double damage mask. As he really wants to try to throw wall up, but he two pass kicks out of there and eight could get pulled out. Gets caught in the box here. Does get him a push up. I believe that's the dagger here, but he's right quick bound by the troll. Troll and range. Oh, just looking to finish him off. Oh, that's gonna help him this one around. And OG3 is instantly now with the help of the Aphotic Shield and a fantastic torrent from mid one. Charity's last man standing, and it looks like he is gonna go down as well. 
Butter with the cleanup. What a team fight. Holy shit. That torrent. That was like three or four man torrent. <laughs> they did not have a black hole in this fight. If they had it, they could have maybe changed things around. Spectre had the double damage, but uh, once she decided to join the team fight, it wore off. And uh, didn't even use Mask of Madness. If she used Mask of Madness, she would die right away. Oh, like it's a fight. I wasn't going to be able to do a whole lot of it, but he ends up take, taking a few spells and setting up the fight for the team. And it's for... Middle. Oh, not coming in from Jarek, trying to bail Buddy out, but there's an immediate glimpse. He gets pushed away. I think probably saving his life there. He may have died as well if it's not for that glimpse. Either way, yeah, well, playing safe. Meanwhile, on the top lane, no tail still chasing. And he get this kill. Sandal stun is there. Yeah, sorry. Should be going down here. Yep. He's getting another kill to his troll lord. Yeah, I love the build on troll. Uh, he can't afford to go for oh, sorry, uh, Battle Fury this game. So he just goes for Yasha. And uh, maybe he decides to switch to a KB after that. Uh, because everything they have is pretty much magical. Puppy? What's Puppy doing in enemy bait? Wait, what? New meta. I, 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 I don't know. He, he got caught trying to walk the enemy uh, to the map and he, <laughs> he ran away like through enemy bait. So that was so cool. He's like, I'm dead. I just, uh, just gonna create some space. <laughs> I wasn't that confused, you know. Puppy may be an old veteran, but he's even quite losing his mind. Yet. The dimension yeah. hasn't fully sunk in. Oh, I'm just sworn that was my yeah. Where will you be when Alzheimer hits? <laughs> yeah. Well, do you want to bottom? We'll see what Sam should be. He's got 3.6 gold after that last team. Suddenly, he's the most farmed hero in the game. He's going to bash out of white. Hey, it's m more popular build. Uh, the conc four Kankas were getting uh, armlets into Crystallis and uh, Blink Dagger. BKB if necessary, but this feels more more of a popular build just because he has mana problems. Uh, that's why he goes for for drums also. Just some stats and the team fight capability with the attack and the move speed. Yep. Also, you force enemy team to invest into sentries and dust, and it also provides you with the, with the damage instead of a blink dagger, which oh, does, doesn't deny, do it. But, uh, you got found out by the clockwork in the troll, but somehow meant just to deny himself the last second. Uh, going in mid, limps back, fly, for a tenth stun, no tail trying to help his buddy out, but no chance of a rock. This fly is caught in the stick storm, they use every spell there to get that kill. We'll see if that lets OG chase everyone up down, it doesn't look like it's just no tail there. Koka one didn't die once this game, he's extreme farm, 9,000 gold, like, at one point he was not the first, but, uh, he's farm. Oh my god, the second one is Enigma. I mean, who's a hero you often see very high up network, out farming at least like one of your other cores, and it's always a good time because Enigma is a hero that comes online with items. Like, I think BKB, even though like can refresh, are often necessary items to win the game. Yeah, but if you compare the network, let's say Enigma's network, which is pretty much uh, the same as Spectre's, 1k below, she has mana boots. Midas and uh, full BKB. On the other side, you have Spectre with the Mask of Madness and Broadsword. No Tail being on to explain the hot hit from A here. It looks very bad for No Tail. He comes out from the low ground. Didn't want to go to the black hole. Could have perhaps used it from low ground to high ground. He's going to get glimpsed back now as well. He's got no teammate. He's just going down. He gets the BKB. I don't think he wants to pop it here. Yep, he lets his light escape. But mid lane, OG, get a kill and return, but. Hey, be careful. They're gonna get chased down oh, here. No mana. Can he use bottle? Okay, he just got mana for a glimpse. Yeah. And Derek get pulled back in. Mid one getting a kill. 807 Kaka. We talked about mid one being a to watch with Seeker. He has a good game and gets to do flashy stuff. Things go well for Seeker. It's the same story here in game number two. Yeah, I, I guess the reason why Beck decided to go for Mask of Madness and the Blade Mail because uh, she has a Baton behind her, so he can always heal her up shield and uh, there's a boat, so she's not going to take that much damage in a team fight. Yeah. 
I wouldn't even surprise to see Ace get like another tank on top of this. I don't think there's a, a huge need for Radiance right away. And uh, he just queued up Radiance. <laughs> yeah, but uh, I, I agree with you. <laughs> he, he's not that tanky. He's sitting only on 1.1k. They dropped the rock and everything. He's turned around to fight this with the Coco's running. Stay alive for a little longer. One complete. He's gonna go for him. Can he jump? There's a kid. On three. S4. Turning this around here. Fast does have the ultimate. Keep him still alive a little bit longer. The status storm was thrown out. Not gonna affect the BK again. Big man. Could be going down here if there's another mount of the look at the shield here. And it looks like Bata who is trying to look for the deny once again. Can get it up this time? Down goes the Abaddon. As Team C will have to have to fit for that fight. As for the KB, it be a bit too problematic than with Black Hole. Yeah, I think they should have given Aegis the Kanka because he feeds away a lot of gold if, if they kill him. And if he doesn't use his boat in a team fight, they're probably gonna gonna lose it. And Spectre at this point, uh, she's not that far. She's just uh, okay. Job source. And there's so much action happening uh, in this yeah. new patch. I was just checking how much gold they got for killing uh, mid one, and then so, yep, another kill happening. I can cut up on it. Does have his so I believe he spent most of his gold before going down. And right, it's still completed. It feels like no tell up. Good time. Has so good time. To this one, yes, they caught, allowing them to stab him and no tail cannot finish this radiance. Keeps being picked off. That's his the death, all of which come in the last five minutes, I believe. Yeah, at one point he was like four and zero. He had half of the denominator six minutes in, but is struggling to finish it because they're team fighting all the time. But fighting in. Something no tell, you know, it's one of his biggest assets now without like someone like, you know, resolution or no, from the team. Because he needs to play selfish, he needs to play that greedy carry and can't always just go and try to play around your team. But help the dominate and try to team fight a lot, and that really set him back into the farm. It feels like a story we're seeing a bit too often with OG, where no tell is trying too hard to help the team rather than help himself. Yeah, needs to be more selfish. Well, we put an eye and suddenly Ace almost had a relic. He's at 3k gold already. So he just got that blade melt only a couple of minutes ago. You know, kills towers and a He's done the whole of the job. Top lane, Jarek's gonna catch the fat here. Death of the Abaddon. There are TPs coming in, but still, no, they didn't put the ultimate. Whoa! Whoa, Jarek's. A characteristic mistake from the decision plan of OG. He may get chased down now as a result. Look for the TP out. Who's there? He says, mid one. In comes Kanka and we'll finish him off. Yeah, Kanka won in 18 out of 23 kills. He's really having a, a good game. A uh, thousand gold away from a Daedalus. There's, is there any blade mails? Nope, not one on the clockwork. Warlock is farmed though, he's uh, level 11 with the Glimmer Cape. I still didn't see any big upheavals. Like, upheaval is the spell that can change the whole fight. If you're fighting near the Roche Pit, if they don't have a vision on you and uh, that they can't enter. Well, here we go. Team Secret with the Force. And another fight at top lane may not have the radiance yet, but they feel strong enough with this Aegis Spit. And as we've seen, just having the athletic shield on these people is just difficult to fight into. And still, no radiance. It feels like even with this radiance up, the bear is just going to be cannon fodder for Team Secret. They're going to be able to just burst it down with these. Yeah, we were, we we're talking about uh, Bills and Spectre uh, during the draft. Second, third item. Oh, no. Oh. Is he gonna die again? No tail. It is isn't though. Ace comes in with the last command is looking to clean up no tail. And once again, enough death on the load. He struggles to finish the radiance. 23 minutes in. This is timing where it just feels like an inner about him. But he's kidding it. He has to get it. There's no, there's no other options for him but by that relic. <laughs> just, just, just sell the relic. <laughs> <laughs> sell the relic and buy it. Uh, uh, buy it. <laughs> no, no. I'm really she can do. I mean, if they have uh, the radiance with the troll, whirling axes, 
the um, amount of the damage that Troll deals in the fight, uh, plus Fatal Bonds and, let's say, Midnight Pulse Black Hole. If they can pull it off, they can easily theme wipe them. But uh, it's gonna be hard, because Enigma does not have a Blink Dagger, which is uh, pretty common. He's playing against the Spectre, so he's never gonna Blink in. So one of those things where like, I hear like Spectre doesn't mind the mischance so much because Spectre's damage output is going to come from dispersion and radiance and they fought his shields. So, this mischance from whirling axes and radiance isn't quite as effective against these heroes. Yeah, that's true. We still didn't see Rock uh, being used besides uh, on that fight like 15 minutes ago. That, that's the problem. If you you have these big ulti cooldowns, you want to use them, but Secret is uh, doing a good job just picking them off. With the Spectre ulti providing vision, with Kanka's Shadow Blade, they have good vision with the Sigil as well. Always guaranteed glimpse in a fight. He's gonna scout the smoke bank, though. I don't mind this, but he's even gonna die, it looks like. There's a quick hook shot. Show sure Pup guys, they're gonna be fighting this right. The set goes charging forward, pops his BKB and everything. He takes a huge amount of damage from the right click damage of the blade mount. He's just gonna die during BKB. Black holes on one, it's just the conquer, and he is not dying. <laughs> the rock comes in, but it feels like it's too late. They've already got two, it's about to be three. S4 chase down, and it looks like OG in just a hopeless situation. The good news that is, no touch feet. Bear has a radiance. <laughs> <laughs> wow, what a... <laughs> God loves. <laughs> Praise uh, the Lord. Yaps or... <laughs> Yaps or did such a good job. I don't know if you noticed. He used the shards to block the Vorlock from entering here and supporting the troll, which used the BKB. So he was standing there for seven seconds. He, he could not pass. Channeling his Dalf as said, secret up for a game two victory here. Secret feel like they're just as they can get the 2 0 with it. The Radiance line, perhaps there's one last fight for OG, but they don't black hole. Not for 95 seconds. This long cooldown is going to make this very difficult for them. No chaotic offering either. It's going to be so hard to fight. Without the ultis, uh, Roche is not gonna be up, uh, may respawn in 20 seconds, so look at these two wards. Th these are two freshly wards, I guess the reason why you plant these kinds of wards, if one of them gets dewarded, the enemy will think that uh, you were not stupid enough to place the same <laughs> at, at pretty much the same yep. spot, but uh, the sentry doesn't reach both of them. We saw uh, something like Kuro does a little bit, but put two or three wards around the same area and then try and force a fight in that area. Just trying to get the clip so close. Uh, it's got the clips. Is it going to be KB? No. Yep. Oh, okay, so it's mid lane. Right? It's just kind of getting the clock over the hook show down. It's just enough to keep it alive. And they're going to push the background push. They push fast with the of Avenue on the tower. They do need some additional backup at least to get this one. Yeah, Midnight Pulse uh, dealing a ton of damage. Meanwhile, they're splitting with uh, Lone Druid on the side lanes. Yeah. Not a bad choice for the You know, no kills here. It's, it's going to look to TP now. TP coming from Ace will defend the flank. He can pull back in though, so. Not get news from this one. Secret again, maintaining position around Observer Wards. They really want to fight around these wards. I love the build on the Absor. He, he, if if he has a kick with Aghanim Scepter, he can kick out Enigma. Does it stop? And he's got the oh, Lance. oh, he has Ether Lance and the uh, Volrus Punch, so he can maybe no, stop the Black Holes. I don't or some more punch. Not sure. I, I, I'm looking at the AOE. It's still small, but maybe for the kick. Yeah. He's getting ganked in the floor. Bada comes in to save the day with the Agony Infector as well. He keeps his picture alive. Ace is playing left, right, all over the place with one. He's gonna be somehow surviving through it all. And mid in snow tail. We've seen this story before. He's getting caught out. Further down, the snowball save is there. Puppy gets kept alive, and it just all goes to shit. Oh, Roche spawn. That's a really long uh, respawn time. Not sure if yeah. they can go for tier 3, even though they're dead for 30 seconds, uh, 
They can just use the fatal bonds, use the rockets and the midnight pulse. Not sure they can siege the tower. They can try though. Enigma is far away. The tower could allow them to get these shrines. Oh, he can't get close. He's afraid of being X marked. Yep. He just won't have to like, waste his BKE. Before it again, Toxicos. He's the ultimate thing to do. The Gagnum Scepter, the damage mitigation is very strong. And there we go. Take the T3 tower, we can back up the shrines now and set himself up to secure Roshan. I'm going to go in for one last creep up here. Perhaps. Get the creep wave with some Enigma Eidolons. They fall back. Take the top shrine. Very good for Team Secret, as mid one has the second there, it's queued up. Gets 25 strips as well from level 20. So damage, listen to this, this is a simple math. Uh, EU and NA math combined, this is what NA taught me. Damage delayed from the boat, 50%. And if Aghanim Scepter is active on a Baron, that's uh, damage redirect 50%. So you are not getting any damage, that's zero damage. Zero damage, yes. zero damage, okay. <laughs> Confirm zero damage. Uh, uh, I'm hearing it here and I'll believe it. You know, I'm an Australian, so things are that, you know, we're upside down, so it sounds about right to me. <laughs> no shit going in. Is it gonna be kid? Hunker just gonna turn and fight. There's the fight ball with the rock on top. It's just not the fuck shot into ball. They're coming back for this, and they really want to take this fight. But Fast will be just gonna turn and. In place, and it looks like the Spectre without I, there's not many units done along here. They're gonna lose a little bit of the back lines here. And oh gee, they've lost steam here. They've run out of gas. They use every single ultimate in the book, and then they just completely wipe themselves out. They couldn't go on any further. The cup got buying back to make sure the front winner gave a secret. And all of a sudden, oh dear, exposed. Told you zero damage taken. Like, the, the, there was a boat and uh. A Baton ulti during the black hole in the Midnight Pulse, which uh, redirected a lot of damage. Yeah. I mean, I, I saw the Abaddon, he pops his ultimate, he was taking negative damage, he was healing! So clearly you're onto something here, the, the Coco's rum with the Axe, right. if Abaddon's healing, you know, something's working. Just broke the game. A Baton <laughs> is one of the best late game uh, hero. 20% cooldown reduction, so his ulti right now is uh, oh, 32 yeah. seconds, and... Uh, what? Once he gets to level 25, he also bought a book for himself. 25 Forget, is just I, so I want, to see, I want to see an Octarine core, you know? Yeah, Octarine, yes. That sounds far, far better than this pipe that he's got queued up. But in so, can we go? Kick, Pierce's belt unit, yes. Six to target unit back, damaging them and slowing their movement speed. Push distance 140. Let's see with uh, Ether Lens how big uh, the crack is. It's pretty good. Yeah. The range is looking pretty good for this kick against Black Hole. <laughs> kick him in the nuts. Uh, I always say that the uh, Tusk with Aghanim Scepter should be just called MMA Tusk. Sure, I'm down for that one. You know a thing about kicking balls and nuts here, as I, I've seen at the summit, you with Grant Grant. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I miss Grant. <laughs> See if uh, Tusk can, can do any of that. I can't say I miss his bolts because I guess nothing's left after that kick. <laughs> Here we go. Team Secret, one last smoke, perhaps to end game number two. No oh, Black Hole's back up. Yeah, that's Octarine. Octarine talent reduction. reduction. Yep. He's good Ooh. to go. Six Almost three seconds hand of minus. Go. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta pop it, man. There you go. S4 knows what's up. Not correctly. First, he uses demonic reversion instead of popping the Midas. Yep. Wrong order. They're trying to force S4 to BKB. He goes in forward. Does he go for the, for the black hole here? He takes oh, so much God, regular God. damage. He needs the black hole, but he's not going to go for it. Doesn't see the opening. Instead, they're zoning him away with the bear. Sebstrey pops his BKB. S4 does not have a BKB anymore. They're going to lose the bear back in the base here. They've just been chased all the way back home. The Abster is somehow still alive thanks to the Abaddon. This Abaddon is just proven to be too difficult to deal with. His ultimate's already back up, and they're gonna lose the racks here. There's no damage, even as S4 gets a black hole off. He's got a refraction, but he's got no blink tag. He's trying to walk on it, and he needs a BKB no though. Oh, he can kick in! S4, no! He refreshes, but he can't black hole! Not like this! 
Oh my oh. god, Tusk wants to get the egg on him, Scepter. He's so funny. He blinks in, kicks the uh, full duration BKB troll out of the fight, and then charges in on a no tail, kicks him with. or uh, actually punches him and gets the last. <laughs> this hero is so funny once you get the eggs. As for his Steam avatar, says it all. It's. Yeah. <laughs> Sad frog. That is.